It's been a while, fellow survivors. I hope you're all doing well. Let me show you what we've been working on for the past few weeks. Besides some additional upgrades for existing buildings, we also got some entirely new ones for you. Let me introduce you one by one. First of all, the most important one, the research station. The research station allows us to acquire new and advanced technologies. It employs researcher to generate knowledge, which is required to conduct research. Oh, before I forget, your voices have been heard. With this update, you can experience our very first iteration of Endzone or World Apart's tech tree. But beware, it's still heavily a work in progress. We hope you like it. Now let's have a look at the new tech. The basic shelter can be upgraded once in order to accommodate even more settlers. This is the scrap collector, another new invention. It catches small amounts of swirling scrap, which is particularly effective during sandstorms. Next up on the list is the hemp weaving mill, a building that produces cloth from hemp. That's pretty useful. The standard warehouse can now be upgraded twice to increase its overall storage space. We also got something new to speed up our settlers' travel time even further. Paved roads, an upgrade for basic dirt roads. This beauty is a wind turbine. It constantly produces a low amount of power. That's why it can only supply a small number of buildings. And that's not all. Two new challenging scenarios await you. Piece of cake? No, not at all. You are surrounded by nothing but withered earth and radiation. Neither plants nor trees. And worst of all, no water in sight. Just as you started a new settlement, dark clouds are gathering on the horizon. Not the regular ones, but highly radioactive ones. Contaminated rain season is upon you. Before I say goodbye for this time, I just wanted to let you know that we added some more expeditions on top. Now, it's time for you to play Endzone, a world apart. Have fun, fellow survivors.